Now, a woman who experienced terror at the hands of Hamas after being taken hostage during the October 7 massacre was one of those released and reunited with family during a brief ceasefire. Today, she's in Toronto, and CTV's Heather Wright had a chance to talk to her. Here's Heather's report. During the 51 days she was held by Hamas in Gaza, Hagar Brodich never lost track of what day it was. It's now been six months since she was released, and she says her thoughts are always with those who are still there. I can't imagine what they're feeling. Uh, I know what I've been through, but it was only five, 51 days. Only. Now it's only. Hagar, her husband Avihai, and their three children just arrived in Toronto, visiting family here over the summer and sharing their story. I think that we're getting better every, every day. On October 7th, Hagar, her kids and their four-year-old neighbor were kidnapped from the safe room of their home and driven into Gaza. There was a big crowd uh, cheering and uh, dancing and uh, happy to see us in the car. A woman and four kids. She says they were taken to a family's house and locked in a room. We had uh, no running water. We barely had electricity. Hagar says they were kept there for just over two weeks until an Israeli missile hit the building. And then uh, the house collapsed from uh, the IDF bombs. We're lucky that, we, that we're here, that we survived this. They were then moved to another location, put into an ambulance and driven to a second home, where they stayed until they were released during a brief ceasefire in November. Oria is four and a half. Four and a half. And Yuval? In October, we met Avihai in Tel Aviv. He was one of the first people to push the government to prioritize bringing the hostages home. It's the same message Hagar also has for those in charge. We have to stop everything and bring them back home. Uh, nothing is so important as them. More than 30,000 Palestinians have been killed since this war began, which shows no signs of ending soon. I want to live in peace with my neighbors. Um, and we have to find a solution for both of us for Israel and for the Palestinians. Hagar says her kids still want to be by her side at all times and are startled by loud sounds. And while she doesn't think she'll ever go back to their home, she is confident they will build a new life together. Sandy. CTV's Heather Wright.